Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're north of the border in Hawkesbury, Ontario for Auto Expo. Now, Hawkesbury is right on the Ontario-Quebec border, so there's a lot of French-speaking people here today, and my language skills will definitely get tested. But there's also tons of really cool cars, and this place is packed. So let's get around and check out some of these wild Canadian rides. Pierre, how you doing, man? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. What a cool show. Beautiful show. Yeah. Beautiful show. Now, how long have you been doing this? For 12 years now. I mean, it's packed here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Is it always packed? Relatively, yes, yes. Uh, we have been having good years, really good years. And this seems like a particularly good one. Uh, yes, and I wonder why. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I've got know. a good idea to <laughs> why. You seem to be drawing a lot of people from, certainly from Quebec. Yes, we are. Um, uh, we're, on, we're on the border of Quebec, of, of course, and, and uh, it's very easy for us to, uh, to inform them of the, our show. And, and now that, that the, the road has been paved, uh, where, where they, they know what type of show we run, uh, they're, I guess they're pleased with it, and they come back. Yeah, they seem to, and, you know, and people are having a great time here. And there's such interesting cars here. Yeah. I mean, I, there's stuff I don't normally see down south Good. of the border. Good. Yeah, yeah, Good. you know, some Canadian cars. And it just seems like there's an awful lot of Mopars here. Is this a big Mopar area or something? Not necessarily. Uh, it's probably a Mopar day <laughs> more than anything <laughs> Maybe else. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah. But they're everywhere. Yeah, yeah, right. And and you had uh, how many registered cars this year? You had? 579 this year. Yeah, but I mean, there's cars stuck all oh, over the place yeah, without. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I'm you sure. got yeah. you got a lot of cars there, man. Yes, yes. Being right here on the Quebec border, there's an awful lot of French-speaking folks. I'm having a little bit of trouble with that. I was mm -hmm. wondering if you'd go with me and do some some interpretation. My I want to make sure sir. they're actually saying nice things about me. Okay. <laughs> My pleasure. Sir. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Well, Bruno, yeah. this is a great car. This is a Canadian car. Yeah, they made Built from uh, Pontiac. Canada. Pontiac, Pontiac, and, and my French is not good. How's your English? English is medium. Okay, yeah. well, my French is worse. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a 1962, it looks like a Chevy 2 Nova. Yeah, the same car, uh, che Chevy Nova, but uh, it's made by Pontiac Canada. And it's called, an, uh, what I would pronounce, Acadian, but you say? Acadian. Acadian. Yeah. Well, they were made up here. They look like Novas, but what are the differences? What's what's different about this versus a Nova? The difference is the, the front grille. Yeah. It's not the same and the, the rear tail light. Rear tail lights? Yeah. And of course the Pontiac badging instead of Chevy. Yeah, it's the same uh, the same fender of a Chevy Nova, the same door. Is it really? Yeah. 1962. Yeah. Now as I look at it, um, it looks like it's built for race. <laughs> oh. I mean, you've got a full roll cage. Yeah five-point harnesses, and you've changed the instrumentation. All that is custom. All custom? And yeah. auto meter gauges? Yeah, yeah. Pontiac steering wheel, that's the original yeah. steering wheel, right? I bought that on Hebe. b <laughs> <laughs> and m shifter, yeah. you know, racing seats. I can also see that you have it's been tubbed pretty, pretty yeah, heavily. Yeah, it's got, a large tub. Yeah? Or the large tire. How wide? It's a 33 by a 14. That's big. That's big, yeah. <laughs> Now you've, uh, now did you build this? Yeah, I built the car. My friend built uh, the motor. How long did it take you? 10 years. Really? Yeah, 10 years. Wow, you've, had a, you've been working on this for a long time. Yeah, yeah. So back here, yeah, these tail lights are definitely different. It's not the same of a Chevy Nova. No. no. It's not the same bumper. Wow. You know, with that roll cage and it's, it's heavily tubbed, you got big tires. Yeah. You must have a equally big engine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. You see Let's that? Go. I do. Let's go look at that. Okay. Well, uh, that's pretty big. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> it's a 454. Wow. Big black Chevy. LX6. Oh. Those are wild headers. They yeah. go up, back, and, so, and they come out the sides, eh? Yeah. It's a hard job. Ooh. Yeah, but it was a hard job. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the only 62 Pontiac Acadian here. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. The only Thank, one. Thanks, Bruno. Thanks, Dennis. Beautiful car. Thank you. Strong and fast. Right. <laughs> Welcome back to My Classic Car. 
Well, Andre, this is a really wild car. A 62 Dodge Dart 440 series wagon. Very rare car. Rare car, Man. indeed. Where did this baby come from? Uh, South Dakota. Wow, and, and did you buy it from the original owner? Yes. Wow, that's amazing. How long ago, have you had a long time? Oh, or? about four years now. Oh, so they hung, hung on to it for quite a while. For quite a while. Well, what's that's the story what, on it? They were driving the kids back and forth to school, and then until the, you know, the kids grew out of it, and then the, uh, the previous owner, being a uh, mechanical engineer, decided to soup up this car with a 413 Max Wedge, mm -hmm. you know, because they, those cars were racing <laughs> oh, yeah, way oh, back yeah. then. And so they had an awful lot of fun with this car for a good many uh, summers. Back, so they back raced there. it, eh? They did. Wow. They did. Both Quarter mark. Both Quarter the man mark. and the wife? That's right. Both of them. <laughs> both of them. But original paint? No, it's not original. It's been the, reshot. The, yeah, the paint's about 20 years old right now. Still looks good. And the interior, I mean, you know, white car with red interior is always a great, a great look. And man, I mean, that has to have been redone because the upholstery is just so perfect. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, I did the, the seats, they were cracked only a couple of years ago. Wow, and, lo and I love it. I mean, the dash on these these Mopars, it's just so wild looking. <laughs> but did this also come with the, the roof rack? No, the roof rack was optional, so as the handles. Oh, that's nice, yeah. The chrome handles. And the backup light, as a matter of fact, were uh, a uh, an option. Oh, no kidding, eh? Yeah, this wow. one is equipped with the backup was, lights. With, without that, was it just blanked off? Blanked off. No kidding. Chrome. Wow. And this one has the the power back window, oh, which is an option again. But did you say this has got a 413 Max Wedge? Well, yes, it is well, equipped yes. with 413. Let's go look at that. <laughs> Let's have a look at it. Oh. Not just a 413 Max Wedge, a dual quad 413 Max Wedge. Absolutely. What a wild manifold Absolutely. those have. Absolutely. Wow. Well, you know, it, it looks like it belongs in there. It, I think it does. Now, you don't race this anymore. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't. But now and again, yeah. well, I like to <laughs> press on the pedal just a little bit, you know. But it still have all the horses, you know, that yeah. they did have way back then. Well, it's such a great looking engine. And that was just a, you know, I mean, that was a terror on the drag strip oh. back in the oh, day. Yes. yes. Yeah, that is a that is you know it's just such a wild looking car. We get the looks, you know, wherever <laughs> yeah, we go. <laughs> yeah, I believe that, man. And and I bet you can smoke the tires when you want to. Well, yeah, yeah occasionally. Yeah, you know, occasionally. Yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Andre, so cool. Okay, thanks a lot, Dennis. Sixty-two Dart four forty wagon. <laughs> yeah, four thirteen max wedge. There oh. you. <laughs> Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Chris, this is a cool ride here. This is a 1980 Volkswagen Vanagon. That's right. Vanagon. Yes. Now, I, I have never, I don't think I've ever seen one as a camper. Is this a mod or is this a factory? There's two models that were manufactured by Volkswagen. There was what they called the bus, which was strictly the van. Which is I've seen a lot of. Absolutely. And then there was the camper with the pop-up roof. And then from the factory, eh? Absolutely. From the wow, factory, how, yes. You know, yes. How cool. Now, they couldn't have made too many of these because I, I don't think I've ever seen one. I don't know how many were made. Uh, I know they're very much in demand because they're <laughs> uh, quite rare. Yeah. Now, great color. Kind of a kind of a Japanese beetle emerald green almost. It's different, <laughs> different, it's different, different. Yeah. But that's not original, right? No. Originally it was a brown uh, mm. color, traditional brown a Volkswagen. Lot of them were. A yes, lot of more brown. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, a couple of years ago we had to uh, invest the money because it was losing its uh, its flash and uh, our four children are actually the ones who chose this green. It, it looks like it's completely original inside. Dennis, it is original. Everything. Nothing has been changed Even, here. I can't, I just can't believe it. And, and I just love how it's laid out. So you've got a, a swivel passenger mm -hmm. seat. It'll go 180 degrees, That's right? right? So it'll face forward, you know? The driver's seat will swivel sideways. Oh, oh okay. Absolutely. And, and then you've got the table. Yes. You've got a stove, a sink. Underneath there's a fridge. Underneath the fridge. Up above, you got a bunk. You've got a bunk, and the back bench will fold down and provide a second second bed as well. It's actually a pretty big vehicle. It's pretty it long. It is. It is. Yes. So what That's am I right. looking at? A, a 1.6 or a 1600 no. or? No, a 1.9. Originally, the engine was air cooled. Uh -huh. uh, we managed to get it across Canada and back twice. And on the end of our second trip, uh, the engine gave up on us. <laughs> and so, with a bit of luck, a bit of patience, uh, we managed to find a rebuilt 1.9. Did no. you guys? You know, go on trips in this? And every summer. Oh, geez. every summer. But I don't imagine you would sell this, would no, you? My, no, my no. children have told me time and time again that it's not for sale. It's not happening. Well, 1980 Volkswagen Vanagon camper. I love it. Thanks for bringing it out. Thank you, Dennis. What a cool car, Chris. Well, Etienne, this is, a, this is an interesting car. Fox Body Mustang. I'm going, okay, Fox Body Mustang. It's a, what, 1986? 86. But I started looking at it and, you know, it's a little different. 
It's an SVO for one thing. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. I mean, this is kind of a legendary car. They didn't make many of these, right? Not many at all. Uh, Total production for three years was uh, just short of 10,000, and Mm -hmm. a handful of competition prep cars were actually built uh, in uh, in 86. Well, you know, in in the interior, with the competition prep, was the interior any different, or is is this pretty much the the Mustang interior for the day? It was very different for an SVO. First, the seats were different. Uh, All SVOs came with a Hurst shifter and a... uh, uh, basically a boost controller inside to control the boost if you had low octane fuel. A little bit of a different spring rate on the suspension, but otherwise a car was basically uh, would arrive empty. Bare and bones. Bare bones and ready to be gutted and uh, throw in a roll cage and uh, go racing. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, you know, but, but I mean, that interior is beautiful. Did you restore that or something? No, that's no, an original really? car, original paint. Uh, the only thing, the original customer actually painted the rear spoiler. I left it alone. Because uh, typically it should be more a charcoal color. And this double deck spoiler was? That was a special SVO feature from the get-go. But this has got this really weird engine, right? A little bit, yeah. A little bit, a little bit weird. Let's look at that weird engine. <laughs> All right. That is a strange looking engine. Okay, <laughs> what am I looking at here? The origin of that engine, well, first of all, it's a 2.3 uh, turbo. The origin dates back to the Pintos and so on. But in 1983, uh, Ford uh, SVO, which was the division which was now basically known as SVT, uh, they went out and to really design a really modern turbocharged engine with the 2.3. And is it pretty quick? It is very quick. Back in the day, uh, the SVOs were known actually to be as fast, if not faster, than the 5 liter on, on the drag strip. But put them on a road course, and these cars are just absolutely wonderful. Wow. Well, she's wild, man. And, and even from a distance, I went, oh, you know, Fox Body Mustang. Oh, wait a minute. You know, <laughs> this is an interesting car. It's a beautiful car to drive. Thanks for bringing it up. Thank you. And that, that's what, 86 SVO. Competition prep. Competition prep. Yowza. <laughs> Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Jacques, this is a this is a favorite car of mine. Always has been a favorite car of mine. The Monteverdi, very rare car. This is only the third one I've ever seen in my life. What model is this? This is a Monteverdi 1971. That's a Monteverdi High Speed 375L. And the L stands for luxury version or long wheelbase, okay. as you. Because I, 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 like I said, I've only seen three. One was Bob Lutz's. Yes, Bob Lutz. I have a 375L like this one. Uh, and the other was Jay Leno's. Jay Leno have a short wheelbase, which stands for two-seater. And now yours. Now, where did you find this? Because you don't, you don't find these just everywhere. Yeah, I found this one in the internet in London, England. That was a very interesting weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was. A lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> they're all hand-built, aren't they? All hand-built. And they're such an interesting mix because it looks thoroughly Italian in its design. It is re- Italian. It's, it's, it's be designed and built by a firm called Fissore in Italy. Mm-hmm. And uh, the engine and transmission actually are uh, 440 Chrysler. And then it's all put together in Switzerland. In Switzerland, wait. So what, a, what an interesting uh, combination. But one of the things that strikes me about these cars is just how sharp the angles are. Yeah. I mean, even the bumpers, you All mean, around the car, yeah, that's sharp square edge. Square edges, sharp edges, and, yeah. and, uh, but, but stunning. It just, nothing quite looks like a Monteverdi. And I love the interior in this. This, this being the L is actually a 2 plus 2, two right? 2 plus so you have, 2, you have yeah. The back seat. I, I, mean, I just love it. I just love how it's laid out. Yeah, the, this is because of the engine is uh, far back on the engine bay and because of all the air conditioning uh, evaporator and all of stuff. So they had to uh, so that's what that come box with that is design. Really, that, yeah. that, that's really there because the engine's so far back. And what a dainty little shift knob. <laughs> <laughs> there's like two fingers and you move that thing around. Yeah, this is an automatic transmission actually. Mm-hmm. And what a, you know, I mean, what a narrow trunk, but again, you just see these crisp lines everywhere. Yeah. It's just absolutely stunning. And it is powered by a big honking 440 Chrysler yeah. engine and torque flight transmission, right? Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. <laughs> let's, let's have a look at that. There she is. That's yeah. a 440 Chrysler. Well, this, you know, you can see right off the bat that she's moved, as we were talking about in the interior, she's moved quite a ways back for yeah. weight distribution, I'm assuming. Your weight distribution. The 51% of the weight is on the front wheel and 49% on the rear wheel. And I would imagine it's just handles like a dream. Yeah, that's a big GT from the 60s. Yeah, and they, yeah. they are built to go fast and they are built to, to handle well on the small road. 
Oh, it is. They're stunningly beautiful. Close it back up. Absolutely fabulous car. One of three that I've ever seen in my life. Jacques, thanks so much for bringing it out. That's my pleasure. I think it made my day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, the Auto Expo here in Hawkesbury, Ontario is an absolute blast. You really should check it out. And to all my friends across the river in Quebec, merci. <laughs>